Hi, everybody. Dr. Ashley Oxner here today. Um, wanted to just go live. Um, we're doing some new videos, myself and my social doctor, Dr. Kehoe, where we want to really kind of expand on um, the purposes for chiropractic. And I, I was reminded of, uh, I'll never forget the first time, if you guys can recall, the um, water babies, if you remember, like the um, scene, the, the the little babies, like Brent, babies get thrown into the, the swimming pool with their mom and then they just like go underwater and they're like swimming. So the first time I saw this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, what are these people thinking, right? It was like shock. And now as a pediatric and family chiropractor, I get some similar reactions or uh, a lot of our patients do from their family members or friends or, or even their doctor sometimes um, when they say, and, and tell them they've brought their child to the chiropractor. So I wanted to today just kind of shed some light on why an infant, a baby, would come to the chiropractor, um, what for, and why it's so vital and important. So um, there's some analogies I'm going to share, some things that should really make sense. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, so here's kind of the idea. So if you think about um, when the baby enters the world, right? So the baby is coming on in. Before they actually are born and birthed, there could be some stressful events that happen, right? So we could have a stressed out pregnancy, right? So that's going to be number one. So maybe there was um, some chemical stress, some physical stress. Maybe the mother had some emotional stress or whatever that might be throughout the course of that pregnancy that could impact um, the baby and its nervous system and its development. So just hold on to that as one possible cause. Another one is going to be actual um, birth interventions, all right? So where there could be interventions that cause stress to the baby. So, of course, they're monitoring everything during the, the procedure typically, and they'll, they'll, if the heart rate goes too high or too low, and, and, and they monitor these things, but things like Pitocin or um, – other drugs and epidural and things of that nature can many times stress the baby out. So interventions is another one. And then last would be actual physical birth trauma. So actual birth traumas in which there was forceful pulling or twisting of the head, uh, legs if it was a, a, a breech delivery, um, could have been used an instrument such as forceps or a vacuum suction cup, things of that nature that cause the stress. So when the baby's body is stressed like that, think about this. If I were to clap like that really loud, right? Clap, people blink and their eyes react or the baby would even do that. That's a response. That is a nervous system response. Same with a physical response. If I press into you or press against your head or press on a baby, like we will react. There's a reaction and a response. So remembering that these things will instigate a response from the body and the baby is important to understand because the response to these is a stress response. So keep that in mind that now what can happen is this baby and its nervous system will go into that fight flight reaction. So if you saw a bear or something, um, it was going to attack you or whatever that stress is and your heart rate goes up and you get real tense. That's that fight flight reaction. Well, it's no different that can happen in the baby from these things up above. Throw in then as well that then what can happen is this stress response that the baby's in, their system, their nervous system can get locked into it. And the metaphor that we use or that we talk about a lot is that that would be literally like the gas pedal is stuck. So if you've ever <laughs> ridden in a car with the gas pedal stuck, it's no fun. Um, if, you've ever, if you're bored someday, YouTube that. But the idea is now the gas pedal is stuck. They're in a stress response, fight, flight reaction, because what has happened, there's been these physical things many times when we talk about the interventions and in birth trauma, to where the body is locked as these uh, physical things have happened to the spine structure and nervous system. So now the brain feels and interprets that as respond in an emergency, like I have to be stressed and react. So if you've ever seen a baby that's just 
not at ease, right? There's certain babies where they're just, they just look like they're in pain or they're just, uh, they'll label it colic, right? We could have um, colic, we could have acid reflux. Um, there could be current, recurrent, I'm sorry, recurrent uh, infections that the baby succumbs to regularly. Uh, there could be just that overall, just kind of anxiety and stress, right, that, that we see. So these things, we get the baby can get locked into and keep in mind there's not a pill a potion a lotion or a, a shot or something that will actually correct right back up this chain what caused that so what's key and what and the reason that we actually then step in and intervene quote as um pediatric and family chiropractors is when you have these things going on we should go back up the chain and look at cause so when you bring the baby to the Cairo for the evaluation, right? So we're gonna do a complete and thorough nervous system evaluation on the baby to find out where these areas of stress response are locked, where what we call subluxations exist, so that then within that evaluation, when we find and locate those areas, then we give very specific, gentle adjustments to correct that. So. Um, a lot of people, when they hear the baby went to the chiropractor, they're automatically thinking like we're twisting their head or something. Of course, it's nothing of the of the sort. Um, what we're doing is small amounts of light pressure to correct and release that stress response so that now the brain can interpret, okay, I'm okay now. The quote unquote injury is not there. The, the stress is gone. And then what's really cool is when that stress response is gone, that's that's like, think of it, the other metaphor on the other side of the gas pedal is your brakes, right? So you've now applied the brakes a little bit. We're pumping the brakes, body comes back into what we would consider ease, balance, and now that nervous system can function. So all of these things decrease, eliminate, reduce, or all of the above. So big picture here, keep it in mind that um, babies have spines and inside of them is their nervous system, which is why they are so important to get checked on a regular basis. So if you know someone who has a baby um, who might be suffering from things like colic, ear infections, uh, recurrent infections, just a baby that's in distress, maybe they've been diagnosed with a lot of uh, acid reflux, um, get them to a chiropractor, get them to a pediatric chiropractor that can actually check them out, see if there's any areas of stress response going on that can be easily corrected and hopefully change that baby's life and its course. So I hope you guys found this uh, uh, beneficial. Share that video. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.